Now to politics and a stunning confession straight from the White House. The president's new lawyer now admits Mr. Trump repaid his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, who paid $130,000 to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. And CBS2 political reporter Dave Bryan is here with former New York Mayor Giuliani's words and the damage control today. Oh, that Rudy, what are you going to do? <laughs> Spilling the beans, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. It didn't take long for the newest member of President Trump's legal team to rattle the cages. You can say that for sure. Giuliani, the apparent blessing of the with the apparent blessing of the president, revealed something that could get Michael Cohen and possibly the president in a lot of trouble. What a day! What a beautiful day! The skies were clear, but the storm clouds have returned for the president, who joined Christian conservatives for a national day of prayer. President, why are you changing your story on Stormy Daniels? Shame on you! Yeah, this, this, as the White House was scrambling to explain a bombshell revelation from Rudy Giuliani that Mr. Trump has repaid his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, for the alleged hush money he paid to porn star Stormy Daniels. She claims she and the president once had an affair. Sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm, and the president repaid it. Oh, I didn't know he did. Yeah. That contradicts what the president told reporters just last month. President, did, did you know about the $130,000 payment to Tony Daniels? Then why, did Michael, why did Michael Cohen make this if there was no truth around the game? You have to ask Michael Cohen. Michael's my attorney, and you'll have to ask Michael. Do you know where he got the money to make that payment? No, I don't know. Giuliani's explanation for that? The president didn't know about the reimbursement until recently. He didn't know the details of this until we knew the details of it, which is a couple weeks ago. Uh, maybe not even a couple, maybe 10 days ago. But that differs from this tweet from Mr. Trump, who claims Cohen was on a monthly retainer, not from the campaign and having nothing to do with the campaign, from which he entered into through reimbursement. But Michael Avenatti, the attorney representing porn star Stormy Daniels, told CBS this morning that words aren't good enough. It's time that people are forced to raise their right hand and testify under oath exactly what happened. And by that, I'm not talking about on Fox and Friends. Now, this evening, there are numerous reports that the president's legal team, other than Rudy, of course, was blindsided by Giuliani. We told you yesterday that lead counsel Ty Cobb has retired, and the man Cobb had replaced as lead counsel, John Dowd, resigned back in March. So who's going to be next, right? I mean, the revolving door continues. That's why we depend on you to keep us informed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.